I know exactly who you are and what you want. You are a beginner or intermediate game developer and while learning you want to make money. This is the perfect video for you. Today I will teach you 4 ways of generating revenue as you study game development. All of which are super profitable and you will be able to continue your game dev learning path while of course having amazing earnings. Now let's start. The best way of making money while learning game development is having a YouTube channel that allows you to have your own schedule and organization. The payment is quite substantial, not only is it for big creators but also for smaller ones. YouTube is the best opportunity of today's era, having your own times and amazing revenue. Are you gonna take advantage of it or miss it? Let's firstly talk about Stay at Home Dev, a YouTuber with over 30k of subscribers. You can take a look here at the content that he creates. As you can see, he uploads something like two videos per week and he gets about 10k to 20k in each of them. On average, of course. So, for example, with that, we can take a look at his estimated monthly earnings using the following web page, okay? Of course, this isn't an accurate number, he may be earning much more or much less. Actually, as you can see, the range that they give you is quite substantial. But well, I believe it is a, a good way to, in a way, start knowing how much a YouTuber can make. If we take a look at a bigger content creator such as Danny, as you can see, the estimated monthly earnings are quite bigger. A way of having a more accurate number would be having any video that you would like, for example, this one with uh, 13 millions of views. And taking in account that for each thousand views, YouTube pays in this niche about uh, $1, uh, $2, something like that. So yeah, actually there, the amount of views, the amount of earnings is quite different from the ones that we have here. Because as Danny isn't currently active on YouTube, well, maybe this thing doesn't give us an accurate number. But well, now it's my turn to show you how much money I make as a YouTuber. So in the last uh, 28 days, I've made $34. Uh, the best way of actually looking at this is putting this view that I don't actually remember. Here, I think it was February or something like that. Yeah. So basically here we can take a look at the estimated revenue in different months. For example, well, this is the first month that I've been monetized. It was just like the, the last day or something like that of October. That's why the amount is super small. But well, then we can take a look at November 37, December 41, January 33, and February 36. And in the last seven days, I've made over $8, just if you are curious about that. The good thing about actually being a YouTuber, as I was mentioning, is that you can have your own schedule and organize yourself. This means that, for example, stay at home, they upload two videos weekly. So maybe he posts, he actually creates these videos during the weekend when he has free time. And then he schedules this content to be uploaded throughout the week. So then maybe in the week he has his normal job, he freelances or whatever. But the good thing is that YouTube doesn't take your entire time to actually create some content. You may only have to dedicate two or three days in a row and you will have content for a week or even more. Allowing you to actually do your own stuff and keep up with your job if you have or freelancing or whatever. You can make incredible amounts of money while learning game development if you freelance. To do this, there are plenty of platforms, but I recommend Fiverr. The good thing is that you have your profit with the different services you offer. And you just leave the algorithm work. Eventually, if you have created a good offer, clients will start coming to you without having to worry about anything. So for example, here is my uh, Fiverr profile. And as I was explaining, you have here your services or here called gigs. And basically you have to do nothing. You just create here uh, your, your offer with uh, different packages and different prices, dates of delivery, terms, whatever, thumbnails. You can even create a video there, a description. Uh, you have your own portfolio and even you have some reviews. There are other freelancing platforms that you can also take advantage of. For example, Upwork. But the main difference here is that although you have your profile, you have to go after your clients. They aren't gonna come to you. 
they can actually find your profile, send you a request to have an interview or whatever. But in most cases, you will have to look for the job. So for example, I have here this one, but in order to apply for them, as you can see, we have like a virtual coin that here are called Connect. And if you want to have a free account, you actually have to wait like one month to receive some Connects, or if not, you have to pay. So Fiverr and Upwork have two different um, systems of actually applying and getting a job. And I recommend you to experiment with both. Now, other way of getting some freelance clients is using your LinkedIn profile. So I guess you all have a LinkedIn profile or at least you know the social media network, but you aren't using it correctly. Because what most of you probably are doing are just creating your profile. Maybe you don't even have a good profile photo or a banner. And well, there you just fill out the different uh, sections that you have the about experience or whatever. But the actual good thing about LinkedIn is that you can post stuff. So take advantage of that and don't be a ghost. And what can you post here on LinkedIn? I mainly post here my achievements. For example, when I release a game, I when I update, when I updated my video for Fiverr, um, when I got a review, whatever that is related to your achievements, even when you're starting a new position. Or even sometimes I post things like this was to celebrate an achievement, but actually I tried here to write something more philosophical about what a, being a YouTuber actually means. But yeah, the key point here is that you have to be constantly posting stuff. And I don't mean you to actually post everything that you are doing. Oh, I'm working on this. And every day you update your community, um, let's say, with what you are doing. You have to post things that you are doing, but when you are finishing, for example, this video about this game, I didn't post a hundred times about this game. Oh, now I created a player move and now I created the enemies. No, I didn't do that. When the game was once released and even published on Google Play Store, then when then was when I actually posted, okay? Now, the last one that I'm going to tell you right now is probably the best one to actually start earning money while learning. And I'm talking about building a personal brand. And basically, this is a combination of, of both systems that I've been talking about in this video. Basically, having a YouTube channel and also freelancing in different platforms. Let me explain. When you have built a community in any social media platform, being YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or whatever, you don't only have there some viewers, you also have potential customers. So Indirama is a content creator about Unity game development, and well, also other engines. And recently he launched his own course, a paid course actually. So he only created a community post, leaving a link for his new course. Oh, well, as you can see, the results have been incredible because he's charging originally $85, currently is on discount, but he got over 200 students. So with just one course, until now he has made, having in count this amount, over $300 from just one course. And even, well, because it is currently on off, but if somebody has actually bought it without being on discount, it would have been much more money. And he is a very small YouTube channel as well. He doesn't have um, thousands of them. He only has 1K, uh, 11K, sorry. So yeah, you see, you don't have to have a, a lot of subscribers to actually start selling your services. And then if he wanted, he could release a new course, post it in the community as well, and people will start buying. And not only this is applied to courses, because if you have your YouTube channel, you can also have on the description a link to uh, contact you both for business contacts or directly on freelancing platforms like Fiverr. And if you have a lot of visibility in your uh, videos, maybe people will start looking at your Fiverr profile and therefore they become potential customers. So start taking social media not as a way to only showcase your stuff, but also to sell your knowledge and provide a service to people. Quick summary about everything that's been said in this video. So pay close attention because over 9 minutes of video in just 30 seconds. Having a YouTube channel has multiple advantages. One of them are ads monetization, sponsorships, that I actually didn't mention, but it's also important that you can have an extra income source. And then with the community you have built over on YouTube, you can sell literally anything that you want. And as your community probably trusts you, they are going to buy it. 
Then you can also combine being a YouTuber with some freelancing jobs in platforms such as Fiverr and Upwork, and also in a way improve them, improve them, or take advantage of your YouTube traffic and redirect your audience to buy your services in these freelance uh, jobs that you have posted. Basically, building a personal brand is the best way of actually making money. It doesn't require you to start spending 12 hours a day in order to do it. You can start by uh, only spending a couple of hours, like two, three daily. And when you start seeing some results, you start spending more and more time. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel and also leaving your likes so that I know that you like this content and probably I would upload more. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye bye.